Elon Musk is renowned for his creative use of technology. He has always had an unquenchable desire to push the frontiers of what is thought to be possible. With PayPal, he created the internet payment system. Tesla introduced the electric car industry. And SpaceX essentially created the private space industry. You may not be aware of his most recent and significant accomplishment. Elon Musk has been vocal about his desire to colonize Mars for a long time. He has been hard at work on his Starship rocket, a sizable next-generation rocket that he hopes will one day transport people from Earth to the Moon and eventually Mars. Now, he has finally unveiled Starship 2.0, a much bigger and better rocket. What new and enhanced features does this new version include? And how will it aid in the colonization of Mars? The shortest distance between Earth and Mars is 33.9 million miles. Elon Musk wants to send more than a million people there by 2050. He calculated that up to 1 million tons of material from Earth would be required for the colony to become self-sufficient. Elon Musk has been interested with coming up with a cost-effective way to move people between planets, since that would be too costly. At that time, we first learned about Starship 1.0, Elon Musk, SpaceX Super Heavy Starship 1.0, which can launch 100 tons into orbit and is completely reusable with 4 to 8 times bigger than the Starship 1.0. Let's take a look at Spacecraft 1.0 to get a sense of how huge Starship 2.0 will be. When the Super Heavy rocket booster is mounted, Starship 1.0 stands almost 400 feet higher than the Statue of Liberty. The enormous stainless steel alloy that has always been utilized in the development of the gigantic rocket since 2019 dwarfs the Saturn V rocket, which launched American astronauts to the moon during NASA's Apollo expedition. The Starship has a diameter of 30 feet, making it wider than any previous orbital spacecraft and enabling it to transport vast cargo, massive celestial observatories, or even a large number of people. In terms of power, the spaceship outperforms any known rocket in human history. To reach orbit, the spacecraft rides on a 69-meter tall rocket booster atop a Super Heavy. The two spacecraft sections would separate from the massive rocket close to the edge of space after navigating Earth's atmosphere. As it made its way into orbit to gently land a rocket, the Starship had been blasted into space turned to its launch site. Elon Musk chops stick, equip enormous tower and will make an attempt to catch it as it falls. Future iterations of the rocket booster B-7 will employ up to 33 Raptor V-2 engines to augment the Starship's engine-related capabilities, as the Super Heavy B-4 only has 29 Raptor V-1 engines. With the expandable rocket and Starship 1.0, you can send up to 250 tons of cargo into orbit. However, if the Starship 1.0 were a completely reusable rocket, it could only transport roughly 150 tons of cargo. Such a huge ship is needed to function as both a space liner and a reusable colony van to carry people and stuff back and forth. But Starship 1.0 isn't big enough to carry most of the supplies needed to set up as a self-sufficient community on Mars. Elon Musk asserts that the starships of the future, nicknamed Starship 2.0, will be twice as big as the craft that would ferry passengers and goods to the Moon and Mars. The Starship version 2.0 will be 18 meters in diameter rather than 9 meters. With these measurements, the Starship 2.0 would be 18 meters, 60 feet wide, and 240 meters, 775 feet tall. This would be the largest rocket ever constructed in terms of width. The ultra-heavy Starship 2.0 would have a cross-sectional area that was four times larger and a volume that was four times larger than Starship 1.0. There will be engine updates. Approximately 1,000 tons of cargo might be carried by this rocket each time it launches. The Starship 2.0 would need around eight times as much as thrust and be eight times heavier than the Starship 1.0. Requiring eight times as much as surface area and eight times as much propellant tank storage. The next generation of SpaceX Super Heavy rockets may thus be able to launch payloads as large as 800,000 kilograms or more to low Earth orbit, the Moon, and Mars if orbital refueling is a viable option. To launch a rocket, it translates to around 800 metric tons of material, or 881 US tons. We are, of course, referring to the formidable Starship 2.0. Clearly, Elon Musk's cars need a lot of electricity. To launch this rocket, they would need around 60 Raptor 1.0 engines. 
Thankfully, Elon Musk has been developing the Raptor 2.0, an engine with greater power. In order to save manufacturing cost and time, almost every component of the Raptor V2 engine was redesigned to be more compact and simple to assemble. In a recent interview, Elon Musk said that version 2.0 is far more powerful and dependable than version 1.5. Additionally, 25 tons were added to the Raptor's maximum thrust, bringing it to 230 tons of thrust at sea level. On the other hand, the space SN811 and SN15S version 1.5 engines generate 185 tons or 410,000 pounds of thrust. The Raptor 2 engine would thus enable the Starship 2.0 to launch with fewer than 60 engines. In 2016, SpaceX developed a rocket with a diameter of 12 meters. After a refueling trip was over, it could launch 450 tons of Mars and 300 tons into orbit. Its cargo was three times more than that of the most recent Starship Super Heavy. If scaling remained constant, the 80-meter Starship 2.0 could transport nine times as much cargo as the Starship. The fact that Elon Musk created this shouldn't come as a surprise. The 240-meter rocket would be about 75% as tall as the Eiffel Tower and twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Elon Musk said that refueling a Starship for lunar landings would require 10 launches, or else there wouldn't be enough fuel to get there. A crewed flight to Mars would become 100 times more difficult during a debate with Jeff Bezos over the Artemis contract, which Jeff Bezos described as a high-risk endeavor. The biggest Starship 2.0 that can provide all of the fuel, on the other hand, will make things a lot simpler. Furthermore, because of the size of the spacecraft, it will be able to stay a fortress for an extended period of time until all of the facilities that will serve the lives of a hundred volunteers to first step foot on Mars can be constructed. Another reason for such a massive spaceship may be that Mars demands 600-ton cargoes that are tough to divide into 150-ton chunks. In the end, because of Mars' severe climate, if the Martian colony is to be self-sufficient, they will need to avoid physical work. There will be a need for steel mills with big cauldrons and rolling mills, civil airplanes, and iron ore excavators. The 9-meter payload bay diameter is probably going to be an issue for some of the supplies the Martian colony would need in the future. But the 18-meter Starship 2.0 would be a better choice and would perform better. Then, everywhere in the world, Elon Musk's aspiration for Mars will be much more quickly realized. Thanks to SpaceX, Starship 2.0 enormous cargo, which may be used to launch factories and sophisticated manufacturing systems. The number of trips needed to bring colonists the supplies they need will go down because the strong Starship can carry more cargo in each trip. The economics of Starship 2.0 must also be considered. You don't simply construct an enormous rocket because you have a large amount of cash on hand. According to Elon Musk, completely reusability and effective propellant use would bring down the price of each Starship 1.0 launch to only $2 million. But eight voyages on a Starship 1.0 are equal to one of the Starship 2.0. The Starship 2.0's launch is expected to cost $8.4 million, which includes $7.2 million for fuel and $1.2 million for support activities. Eight launches of the Starship 1.0 would cost you around $16 million if you were to do that. In contrast, the price of Starship 2.0 will be comparable to that of Starship 1.0. But after the first 100 people get on Starship 2.0, each new group will have more people until there are a total of 1,000 people on board. In that regard, the Starship is getting ready for its crucial maiden orbital launch as it approaches its orbital debut. Starbases have begun receiving SpaceX upgraded Raptor V2 engines. The launch of a Starship will be SpaceX's next significant achievement. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. So what are your thoughts about Elon Musk's new Starship 2.0? Share all your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.